Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing a command line program and incurses based program called CalCurse. What is CalCurse? CalCurse is a scheduler of sorts. It is an event organizer and appointment book, uh, you know, a note taking application if you will. Today I'm going to be installing it in Arch Labs Linux, which is an Arch based Linux distribution. CalCurse is in the Arch repos. CalCurse is also in the Debian and Ubuntu repos, if I'm not mistaken. So I've already installed CalCurse here in Arch Labs, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the program by typing in a terminal CalCurse. And by default, the layout is set up as such. You have this main pane in the terminal here for appointments. On the right hand side you have this column where you have a calendar at the top and our to-do list at the bottom. Now you can change the layout of CalCurse. Um, say you want to move some of these panes around, switch the positions. So the main pane I have appointments. Say I want the to-do list to be in the main pane and the appointments to be in this bottom right hand column. How would I go about doing that? Well, you do that by hitting O on the keyboard. O brings up this little menu at the bottom. Hit O a couple of times to cycle through all the tabs here until you see config here. Capital C for config. So Shift C gives us another menu. L for layout, C for color, K for keys. So we have some options for config. I'm going to hit L for layout and now it brings up this little layout configuration. A of course stands for appointments, C for calendar, T for to-do. I want the to-do list to be in the main pane and the appointments to be in the bottom right so I'm going to move over to this layout here. I'm going to hit the space bar on my keyboard to highlight it. I'm going to type Q to quit and just like that the to-do list is now in the main pane and the appointments are in the bottom right hand column. So how do we create our to-do items and our appointments in CalCurse? Well it's pretty simple actually. To add a to-do item you type control T. To add a control, uh, an appointment you type control A. So let's start with the, the to-do list. I'm going to type control T on the keyboard it's going to ask me enter the new to do item so I'm going to type a new to do item what I'm going to name this now it is going to ask me to give it a priority basically zero no priority one the highest priority all the way down to nine for the lowest priority I'm going to give this a one I'm going to give this the highest priority so this will always be at the top of my to do list say I want to create another to-do item. I'm going to give this a zero priority. And just like that it appears at the bottom of the list. So that's how the to-do list works. The appointments, similar, control A for an appointment. So it's going to want you to enter a couple of times in here. First the start time of this appointment. So for today, say I'm have an appointment at 11 in the morning. I'm going to type 11.00. The ending time for this appointment, I'm going to type 11.30. Ask me to enter a description. How about business meeting? And just like that, on today's date, which is the 22nd of October, I have a business meeting from 11 to 11.30. Now, as I navigate around this, uh, this calendar up here, and you can navigate with the arrow keys on your keyboard or HJKL, the Vim keys also work to uh, navigate around. So, whichever one you're comfortable with. But you notice that as I navigate around, the appointment for today only shows up when I highlight today's date, of course. The to do list is always here. My to do list never goes away no matter what day or month or year I'm in over here in the calendar. 
Now say I want to see what meetings I have today. I don't have to load up the CalCurse program to check my appointments for today. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to type Q to quit the program. Do I really want to quit Y for yes? I'm going to enter the command CalCurse space dash A. This A flag is for appointments. CalCurse dash A. And just like that, it returns my appointments for today's date. See, 10, 22, 17, 11 to 11, 30, I have a business meeting. So you can actually check your appointments for that day without actually having to load CalCurse. So that's pretty dang neat. And before I wrap up this review of CalCurse, I just want to briefly show you the man page, mainly because it is a pretty substantial man page for CalCurse. There's quite a bit you can do with it, a lot more than what I've covered here. A lot of different flags you can invoke. Uh, looks like it's got some filtering options, some formatting options. It's got the ability to import and export. Anyway, it's got quite a bit of you can do here. Now, one thing I should mention is that CalCurse saves all the to-do items and appointment items that you enter into it as plain text items. So that it saves them to a plain text file. These files are found in your home directory, your user directory, in a hidden folder called .calcurse. For example, this plain text document right here, APTS, stands for appointments. You can see this is the appointment I entered right here in just a plain text document to do here. These are my to-do items. It's going to list them in this plain text document. Now what does this mean? Well, it means that, you know, in the command line, looking up these items is a piece of cake with, you know, grep or sed or any of those uh, shell tools. It also means that these plain text documents, you could sync them to something like Dropbox, Google Drive, or Git. So there's a lot of possibilities with CalCurse. So if you guys are looking for a terminal-based note-taking app that has uh, quite a bit of functionality to it, check out CalCurse. Uh, I'm going to continue reviewing some other command line note-taking apps in the next few days because there's a lot of command line note-taking apps. But really, I, I, this is going to be a very large series of videos. I'm probably going to review dozens, maybe hundreds of command line apps uh, before it's all said and done. Because I really want to focus on a lot more of these text-based uh, in curses style programs that don't get much review on YouTube. You know, everybody reviews the graphical programs, the big robust programs, you know, your standard audio players, video players, office suites. So I want to give the command line applications a little more love. So, peace guys.